previously we have seen that JK flip flop is actually a better version of SR flip flop. In this video, we will try to understand the internal working of it. Let us assume you give J as zero and K also as zero. At that time when the clock is high, the intermediate stage here will be always one because of the NAND gate. And then this one with this Q bar will always be Q. So that will become QN. That means previous stage. So if the truth table will be like this, J, K and Q and plus one, that is our current stage. So if your J is zero and K is zero, then output will be QN. Now let's see what happens when J is zero, but K is one. So our current inputs are zero and one. Now previously also Q was one, which is communicating over here through black wire. So this one one will always become zero here, irrespective of whatever input other input is, the output will switch from zero to one. That is Q bar will switch from zero to one. Now, since previously also J was zero, now also J is zero. So irrespective of that intermediate stage will always give you one here that will remain unchanged. But this Q bar has now changed from zero to one that will come over here. And this 1.1 1 .1 will propagate to 0. Therefore, if j is 0, k is 1, the output will be 0. Now, let's see when what happens when j is 1 and k is 0. Now, when j is 1 and k is 0, at that time, currently q bar is 1. That means yellow wire will go here as 1. And this 1.1 1 .1 intermediate stage will become 0. Now, irrespective of other output, the output will be 1. So, q our current output will change from 0 to 1 because of this. Therefore, when j is 1 and k is 0, at that time output will be 1. Now, let us know what happens when j is 1 and k is also 1. If you have watched the previous video, you should be able to tell this answer. If not, then also let us know in the comment section what will be the output when j is 1, k is also 1. Let us know in the comment section below.